This is Nametuples in a hurry. Nametuples are a built-in feature of Python that allows you to add context to the data stored inside tuples. As always, find everything covered here in the Python speed sheet. Nametuples wrap an underlying tuple but allow its values to be accessed using field names. Define them with the Nametuple function that will return a wrapper class that you use to create the actual instances. Start by importing Nametuple. Create the definition by calling the Nametuple function. Give your definition a name and pass in your list of fields. And save that new class to a variable. Now, you can also pass the fields in as a single string with the field name separated by spaces, or separated by commas, or as the list like I did originally. It's entirely up to you. Create an instance by calling the definition and passing in the values like you would for any normal tuple. Access the values as a normal tuple by using index, or by using the field names you defined above. And now, here's all that in action. A quick note, this is still a tuple and tuples are immutable. You cannot update individual values. So the only way around this is to create a new instance of your tuple with those values updated. Add more clarity when creating new instances by using named parameters. Get a list of fields by using underscore fields. Convert this into a dict by calling as dict. And one last thing, because name tuples are classes, you can extend them and then add your own methods and fields just like I do here. And let's run this one last time just to see how it all works. And this has been named tuples in a hurry. Finally, to get you going, find all of this and more in the Python speed sheet. Just search for named tuples. The first thing you see here is a basic section with everything you need in one place. And each entry comes with an example that you can play and run with. As always, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And please go check out the Python speed sheet. And if you found that useful, please share it with others. That helps a lot. This is Timo. Thank you so much for watching and happy programming.